Saint Rita of Kesha was the daughter of Antonio and Amata Lotti, a couple known as the peacemakers of Jesus. They had Rita late in life. From her early youth, Rita visited the Augustinian nuns in Kesha, Italy, and showed interest in a religious life. However, when she was twelve, her parents betrothed her to Paolo Mancini, an ill-tempered, abusive individual who worked as town watchman and who was dragged into the political disputes of the Guelphs and the Ghibellines. Disappointed but obedient, Rita married him when she was eighteen and was the mother of twin sons. She put up with Paolo's abuses for eighteen years before he was ambushed and stabbed to death. Her son swore vengeance on the killers of their father, but through the prayers and interventions of Rita they forgave the offenders. Upon the deaths of her sons, Rita again felt the call to religious life. However, some of the sisters at the monastery were relatives of her husband's murderers, and she was denied entry for fear of causing dissension. Through the intervention of the saints, she managed to bring the warring factions together, not completely, but sufficiently, so that there was peace, and she was admitted to the monastery at the ripe old age of thirty-six. Rita lived forty years in the convent, spending her time in prayer and working for peace in the region. She was devoted to the Passion of Christ, and in response to a prayer to suffer as Christ, she received a chronic head wound that appeared to have been caused by a crown of thorns, and which bled for fifteen years. Confined to her bed the last four years of her life, eating little more than the Eucharist, teaching and directing the younger sisters. Near the end, she had a visitor from her home town who asked if she'd like anything. Rita's only request was a rose from her family's estate. The visitor went to the home, but it being January, knew there was no hope of finding a flower. However, there sprouted on an otherwise bare bush was a single rose blossom. Rita is well known as the patron of desperate causes, seemingly impossible causes and situations. May God bless you.